Your Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Excellencies, heads of state and government who are here, His Excellency Vice President of, of Kenya, Mr. Gachagua, <laughs> and all the other leaders. Na wananchi wa Kenya Kwanza hongera kwa mheshimiwa William Ruto kushinda uchaguzi Pili na mshukuru mshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta kwa kuongoza Kenya kwa miaka ya 10 iliyopita hongera Kawaida no matter I don't watch television stations in the neighboring countries. But whenever there are elections like in Tanzania or Kenya recently, I started watching your television channels. And there is one television, I was scanning through them but I watched something called KTN News Chivumbi. <laughs> that, and I'm glad with the statement of the vice president who has been elected because he was talking here about the real challenges of African countries and, and uh, leadership. Now, in this Chivumbi, most of the time, they were talking about Don't involve me in your internal affairs. <laughs> me, I just want to observe a few things. The first, they were talking mainly about sharing power and sharing resources. Then there was one young man with a lot of gray hair, much, a young man with a lot of gray hair. At one time he came and made a, a good point. And the point was the politics of identity versus the politics of interests of issues. I said the, these, these young people are beginning to, to get somewhere. But then another one said, you are talking of distributing resources. Where will these resources come from? 
So all of the political class in Africa, I would appeal to you to answer that question. Where does prosperity come from? Ustawi wajami unatoka wapi? According to my experience of 60 years, I would advise Africans to know that prosperity comes from wealth creation. You must create wealth. And wealth is not the same as natural resources. You may have natural resources, but you don't get wealth out of them. The wealth means commercial agriculture, manufacturing, services, hotels like hotels and ICT. Now, if I own a hotel, it is my wealth. But that hotel creates jobs for Kenyans or Ugandans. The linkage between wealth and jobs. Because when I watch these TVs, I get a bit concerned. You see, people are talking, and the neo-colonial social science is also very dangerous because people don't, don't link. So I have not read, of course, the manifesto of Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza, nor have I read the other one of Azimio. But But I know His Excellency Ruto. I've met him a number of times in Uganda, and I know he likes ideas and frank talking. Now, what I found a problem in that KT News Chivumbi was in all the things they were talking about, they were not talking about East African integration. They talk about Kenya, 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 Kenya. But I can tell you, uh, and then one of them, the other, the other evening, one of them was quoting the example of uh, American president Roosevelt. Roosevelt started a program in 1934 which created jobs and so on. But Roosevelt was utilizing the huge market of the United States, which had already been created by some people who had a vision. So therefore, I congratulate His Excellency Ruto I thank His Excellency Uhuru on behalf of the presidents who have come here. I did not come here to give a lecture about this or that, but I thought that in order for Uganda and Kenya and Tanzania and Congo and Burundi and Rwanda and South Sudan and Somalia, which is coming now, in order for us to catch up with the United States, we need also to look at the issue of the regional market. Because when you produce, who buys? The more people that buy from you, the better for the business, and the better for job creation. I thank you and I wish you good luck. Congratulations, Kenyans. Asante sana, Mzee.